Okay, so if you watch other videos and they've showed you how to uh, reset your device, your device while Windows is loading, and then you get this option right here, and this is fine, but for me, for some reason, it didn't work. What does that say? Launch startup repair recommended. If you got to this point and you're like, oh, didn't work. Try it again, it didn't work. What do you do? Try it again, it didn't work. Well, this is one method that I found to be effective. So, like it says in the beginning of the video, all it requires is for you to extract the hard drive from your device. So I sped up this portion of the video, just because uh, you can look up another video if you want more detail on how to take a hard drive out of the laptop, but basically it's mostly the same in every single maker model. Just requires taking out screws, uh, being confident in your ability, and handling those little tiny ribbons that are connected to the motherboard. So this is all recorded just off the cuff, um, I'm just kind of uh, talking as the video is going on. So there we go, hard drive is extracted. So you take your hard drive to your other device. Hopefully you have another PC or laptop you connect, can uh, connect it to. What I did was just take the chip that was uh, in another little uh, external hard drive box that I had. And just connect it to your device so you can access the files. If you have a USB to, uh, or a hard drive to USB reader, that will work too. It's the exact same thing. Oh. Okay, so this is the portion that you will find in a lot of other videos. You want to access the main hard drive. Once you're connected, click on Windows. And go down to the folder that says System32. Double click on that, you want to open it. And you go down and find the file name that says SETHC. And that is the application that allows you to have uh, your text read back to you and have different kind of uh, access if you were disabled in some way. Okay, and what you want to do is rename this. It's just a simple step by step. I'm not going to go into too much detail, you just want to give it a different name. So I was denied access because this is actually not my laptop hard drive and I just had to go and change the user permissions um, if you have to do that for some reason. I did not show that in this video but if you leave a comment I can describe it to you or show you or I set you in the right direction. So now that you've renamed it you go down and find the CMD file, the command prompt file. And what you want to do is copy that. So you can right click it and click on copy. Then go anywhere else in the folder. And go anywhere else in the folder and paste it. Just make sure you don't put it in any other folder than System32. Okay, again, if you're faced with these dialog boxes, just keep clicking continue. Okay, and what you want to do with the copy is rename it to SETHC. And this will become a new way for you to access command prompt while you're in the Windows login screen. Okay, so put the hard drive back in your device and put it all back together, making sure that everything is connected properly. I didn't mention this before, but it always helps to um, unplug the AC adapter from your device and also unplug the battery and uh, try to ground yourself by touching a metal object nearby so you don't end up shorting the motherboard. I have done this before, but that was a different situation. So everything is essentially plug and play. Do the reverse of what you did to take it apart. Take a video if it helps take notes. Okay, 
So now that you're back in the Windows login screen, you want to hit Shift five times. And this will allow you to access this command prompt, which is pretty cool. So you type in uh, net user, net space user, hit enter, find the username that you want to change the password for. In this case, it's intentionally a little bit blurry and I'm probably going to start moving. Yeah, I'm moving the camera up a little bit slowly. That was actually by accident, but I also do not want to give away the identity of the person I'm fixing the laptop for. Okay, so once you've typed in net, net space user space, whatever your username is, you put another space and you put an asterisk. Hit enter and you'll be prompted to change the password, just like if you're changing your password anywhere else. Okay, there we go, access. Thank you. Alright, just in case I went through that way too fast, once you have command prompt open after hitting shift five times at the Windows login screen, you type in net space user space whatever your username happens to be, space asterisk. If you want a list of usernames, you just type in net space user and hit enter. And after you've typed this all out, you'll be prompted to enter in a new password and enter it again to uh, clarify what it is, and then you will be able to log into Windows after that. Um, if you need more specific advice or someone who can explain it a little bit better than I can, there is links below that you can click on. Uh, they helped me out initially, even though I did have to troubleshoot. Um, the problems that I did have for myself. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully this helps somebody.